Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to find all kinds of great clips. Now enjoy the video. From a gold mining history that tells of pioneer life to an amazing array of restaurants, shops, and lodging, Frisco draws visitors year-round. But for us, the snow is calling as this small town sends us on some big adventures. <laughs> You'd make my husband jealous. <laughs> so I found Jan with an expert dog sledding guy named Brown. His job was to teach us how to mush the dogs ourselves. The first thing we got to do was meet our dog sled team. I fell in love with Luke and Everest and Moose and Gus and, well, all of them. But I'll never forget Data. He had the most unusual dog voice I've ever heard. He definitely let us know he was ready to run. But neither one of us is going to forget that dog. You know, but from the first moment we met these huskies, Jan has been smitten. So back here we have two positions. We have the drivers in the back, passenger in the front. Making a left-hand turn. Brown did a great job teaching us to mush. That's great. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's do it. I believe my life is in your hands, Rodney. I'm a little nervous, I'll be honest, Jan. <laughs> Me too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so smooth. Oh man. Yes. This is cooler than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I have to admit, I was a little nervous, especially as the first big turn came out. But you totally nailed it. I always heard that huskies like to run. Nope. They love to run. Yeah! Mush, mush, Rodney! Push him as hard as I can. <laughs> this is how you cool them off. Yeah, now you look like you have a white beard. Oh, okay, more, more. <laughs> Good job, guys. Ready, and woo! It was great, but now I gotta put my life in Jan's hands. But she can do it, I'm confident. I'm not sure how fast we were going, but it was a whole lot faster than Jan and I thought it was going to be. Woo! Wow, thanks for letting that tree kiss me, Jan. Sorry. Yeah, we did it! As we rounded the last bend in the trail, Brown came to help us get the team safely in. All right, dogs are in park. Thank you for the nice ride. And Luke, good job leading, buddy. So after this, they're going to get a big bowl of soup and then probably about a three-hour break and go out one more time today. <sighs> oh, I love this. I think I may not ever go home. Yeah. Yes, I love you too. Yes, I love you too. We hitched a sleigh ride up to the kennels to see where these dogs hang out when they're not pulling sleds and to check out this soup that they like so much. Welcome to the kennel. Right now, we have 132 sled dogs. Uh, the team behind you is the one you guys just brought back, and they just got their treat of soup. <laughs> and they're not going to come up for air. <laughs> Doggy Gatorade, she said. These dogs are the most cold-hardy breed in the world. Even though each dog has a house and we do insulate it with straw, most of them would prefer to sleep on top of their house. Uh, no matter how cold it is, they definitely prefer to sleep in the snow rather than in their house. That's so sure. funny. After seeing the dogs all fed and happy, I'm going to find the owner so we can thank him for a day we will never forget. So Brian, tell me about this place. Snowmobiles and dog sledding? Well, here at Good Times Adventure Tours, we do both activities. We do a two-hour guided snowmobile tour and a one-hour dog sledding tour. This has been fun. This is some of the most fun I've ever had in my whole life. And I'm not saying that just because you're standing here and, and you're like eight feet tall, but <laughs> I'm saying that because it's true. And you must hear that from a lot of people. We do. Uh, a lot of people come up here. It, it gives them a unique experience to visit Colorado's backcountry in a safe, controlled environment. We're the only ones who actually. So we could thank him for a day we will never forget. 
So, Brian, tell me about this place. Snowmobiles and dog sledding? Well, here at Good Times Adventure Tours, we do both activities. We do a two-hour guided snowmobile tour and a one-hour dog sledding tour. This has been fun. And this is some of the most fun I've ever had in my whole life. And I'm not saying that just because you're standing here and, and you're like eight feet tall, but <laughs> I'm saying that because it's true. And you must hear that from a lot of people. We do. Uh, a lot of people come up here. It gives them a unique experience to visit Colorado's backcountry in a safe, controlled environment. We're the only ones who actually let you mush the team yourself. Yeah, that was what was the best part, was that you trusted us. We had good, yeah. we did good instruction, but that we actually got to do it. The dogs, you can hear them in the background, they're barking. They absolutely love their jobs. They get mad when we don't use them in the morning because they absolutely love to pull these people around. You know, I think your dogs are like Jan and I. They can't wait to go to work in the morning. They're just ready to go. Absolutely, yep. They, we take care of those dogs better than we take care of the guides that run them. So they're, they mean a lot to us. Well, now, as fun as this is, I'm ready for a fireplace and some hot chocolate. Let's go get some. Yeah, fire sounds good. Let's go. All right, All right Brian, you lead the way. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.